you know, they forced it in because kids love dancing. You know, they were able to play some 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 good pop songs for that. But I did get a laugh because they in the movie they they just Sonic and Tails they just dance one dude to death. <laughs> Hey, hey man, he funny. got served. He got served. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. should, he should, it's he, different. I mean, they, it's like they, they served him death. Died that exhaustion. dude was dancing. <laughs> and I kind of laughed. Okay. Man, so, right. you know, yeah. Yeah, that, that whole sequence, that whole set piece is one of those where you're like, this doesn't really advance the plot. No. But they invested so much. They did so much with it. That is such a fun scene. It's right. like, I'll allow it. it this, this, this was this was good. That's cool. <laughs> I mean, he went down trying. <laughs> yeah, trying. Yeah. yeah, he was trying. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, do you enjoy Double Toasted? Then put it on your body. Check out our tpublic.com merch store where you'll find all these wonderful designs that look great on high quality t-shirts with more designs coming soon. Or check out other high quality items such as mugs, pillows, tote bags, and more. Once again, that is tpublic.com, T-E-E public.com. Or click the link in the description below. Sonic is back, everybody. And while y'all getting happy, everybody like, oh yeah, my man is back. Well, when you know Sonic is back, so is that damn Dr. Robotnik too. So let's not <laughs> celebrate too hard. Yes, Dr. Ro Dr. Robotnik is back. Who, after being exiled on a planet full of shrooms, <laughs> which some people say, that's not too bad. I man. know. <laughs> so I, 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 why, did, why did he want to leave? <laughs> <laughs> I could have used some of those to watch yeah. this movie. <laughs> is it? Oh, no. <laughs> that planet full of weed too somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but he found his way back to Earth thanks to a mighty warrior by the name of Knuckles. Mm. Now, that sounds tough, too. Where the Sonic at? <laughs> Whoop his ass real quick. If you played the game, you know Knuckles right here. But this time, Dr. Robotnik. Look, he was crazy before. Some people said, some kids who played the game, they said, man, I played that game. I Dr. Robotnik's out of his goddamn mind. Mm. He's insane. Yeah. I'll try stranding him on a planet <laughs> for two years. <laughs> try, try, that, try stranding him on a planet full of shrooms where he has time to get high as hell and be even crazier than he was before. Driven madder than he was before. Now he's more driven to dominate the world with his robots as he and his new pal Knuckles, they search for a jewel that will give, as with all villains are looking for this, a jewel that will give him Ultimate power. Mm. You, you got to do the echo on that. I was going to do it, but I know y'all tired of that. But you know what? No, no, I get you, you. No, you no, got to do it That's here. appropriate. That's appropriate. That will give him ultimate, 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 ultimate power. power. People like, damn, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, you know, uh, Dr. Robotnik, you got a new buddy in... Uh, Sonic ain't alone either. He got yeah. He brought one of his boys too. Knowing what's coming, another alien cartoon animal <laughs> named, <laughs> named Tails, who's about to get his brain shut out. Right That's there, right. <laughs> has sought him out. Together with Tails' genius and Sonic's speed, and with Sonic's love of his adopted family, they will stop Robotnik in a battle of extraterrestrial furries, the, the likes of which the world has never seen before. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I discovered the source of ultimate power. Told you. <laughs> we need to get a piece on our line. I love that. When nobody thinks you're lying, you're like, see, I see, told y'all. See, I told you. <laughs> yeah, dude, okay. Y'all yeah. thought it was just power. I told you. No, we accepted it. It's, 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 it's ultimate it. okay. power. Okay. You forgot one. Unstoppable. I was looking at this trailer, I'm, and I, I was funny because I was going to say this, but somebody just stole my stole my joke and observation. But it's there because even the movie, I was like, well, he got his part of trying to get this ultimate power is stealing powers from Magneto. To I'm humanity. sorry. Yeah. Welcome to the new norm. Because I was like, damn, y'all just 
bought the Magneto effects package from somebody. <laughs> yeah, someone saw X-Men. Good, yeah. good for them. <laughs> yeah. So, a lot of fans of the game have been looking forward to this because a lot of the fans of this game and other media, they're looking forward to Knuckles right here, man. Sure. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, Knuckles looks kind of ridiculous to me. And I just, just, just I know what? people. What? <laughs> Compared to what we've already Sonic seen. Sonic cool, but Knuckles is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, yeah. Yeah, right. I'm going to tell okay. you why. Because uh, I'll explain the difference right here. Because, I mean, I'm listen, it's just me. I know I'm not mean to hurt any kind of Knuckles fans out there or anything. Get but back. You, hey, well, careful, but, careful. But, but, but you got this, got this damn gerbil with a perm trying to act hard where, wearing these <laughs> White spiked oven mitts and these toddler sneakers right here. You know, it's just, it's just it's a, like toddler Timberlands. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, just a little, just a little silly to me. Right there, the, the nice clean butler gloves he got right there. But you know, the reason why it works for Sonic is because Sonic, when you look at Sonic and even t- to a certain extent his friend Tails, but Sonic, Sonic is just a kid. You know, Sonic is a teenager. Mm-hmm. You know, and and he has the attitude of a teenager. Uh, but Knuckles comes in, man, and he's talking hard like Idris Elba and Hobbs and Shaw talking like the Black Superman. And yet he's looking like a mascot for a college basketball team. You know, it's <laughs> uh, you know when, when you look at that, he's like, "Hey, I'm Knuckles," and I'm just like, I'm still trying to process this, so it, it's gonna take me probably a little bit of time. So I don't mean to like talk bad about your boy over here for everybody who loves Knuckles, but I'm just saying the shit just looks when you first actually see it in the game and on cartoons, it's fine. But you see that shit walking out and hanging out with real people, it's like okay, that's kind of that's kind of crazy. I it didn't bother me. I mean, honestly, once I accepted Sonic, this was like all right. Well. I didn't say it bothered me. I just said it looked stupid. That's all. <laughs> it didn't bother me. I went something like, oh man, I can't take this shit, man. Not to take, somebody take it off. You know, no. I, I, I didn't say you said all that. No, I, mean, I I'm not bothered at all. I just, I just think it's funny. I just like, it just looks crazy. I feel like that's why they cast him because it's like, let's get Idris Elba for Knuckles. No, that's not yeah. gonna work. No, let's do it, man. It's gonna be so funny. Yeah, like that's it, what no, they did. It's it, right? funny. It's yeah. funny to me, man. I was laughing the whole time. I just say, I didn't know how how seriously people were taking Knuckles right here, but I'm laughing my ass off the whole time. I am an Akinda. Wait, no, you a hamster, man? It's <laughs> wearing big ass gloves. Is he I, super self serious? Oh, yeah. oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's 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 the character then. No, in okay. The games. Well, then yeah. they nailed it. No. Because, okay. matter of fact, casting Idris Elba to be that super self serious mm. was hilarious. Mm. In real life form, it just for somebody like me, it just takes a little time to process. <laughs> sure, okay. that's all. That's fair. But I will tell you this: uh, this is faithful to the source. You know, I, I feel ridiculous saying this, but the themes stay true to the video games out there. That all that from look the movie takes that part of the game right there and makes a movie out of it. Okay. So for better or for worse, it is faithful to to the game. But I would say that the movie is actually taking more from uh, from from like something like the cartoons. Dude, I die. For a guy named Knuckles, you are really bad at punching. You know, looking at the the, the cartoon even more than the game, like wow, y'all got that down. Give me the emerald you stole, or else. So we just saw that right there. You know, uh, uh, now, listen, make no mistake. I'm just going to tell you right, right, right now. I don't think that this is great, but I respect how a game about a rat running around because he's on that fan means, you know, collecting rings and, you know, uh, 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 Hanging out with other crazy ass animals, you know, I res- I respect it for, for for doing what it's doing right here. Mm-hmm. If they had made the movie a little bit shorter, and if they had less pop culture references in there, because oh, uh, they do that, they they actually do that more than they did in the. Oh, in the- that's the worst yeah, thing about yeah, the doc- original film. Do- Doctor Robotnik and and Sonic. It's like they're getting paid for every cultural reference they throw in. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. Wow. I mean, okay. listen, the, the movie's two hours and for some beat and I would I'll, and I'm gonna be fair and tell you that I didn't really I didn't really feel it? I didn't really feel the two hours. I okay. did. Okay. I did. I'm just saying I did notice where some things felt awkward because they didn't need to be there. 
And I said, well, if you had cut that out, you would have had a leaner film, and then we would have had probably a better movie. Yeah. But, uh, you know, but other than that, I, I, again, like I said, I see. But anybody comes in and is like, oh, man, well, they just doing anything. This is crazy. They just throwing shit up on the screen to get some out of these kids. The movie is doing what it can to do exactly what people who want to see a Sonic movie, uh, uh, the movie's doing the best that it can to provide that. And I, I, at least from what I've, from the little, from the little knowledge that I have with Sonic, I played Sonic just a little bit because I was a Sega kid back in the day. Oh, I, you I'm know, sorry. That's why, that's why I apologize I never, for you. That's why I never had the NES. <laughs> but you know why? I never the good had, console, yes. You know why I never had NES? <laughs> why? Because I was always going over to my cousins. Not my, not, he was so close to family. My friend, my not 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 the Adrian you know, mm-hmm. uh, my friend Adrian Yarbrough, his uh, my my brother-in-law uh, is related to him. And we used to hang out all the time. We used to call each other mm. cousins. But I used mm. to go over to his house, and I used to like beat all his NES games. Oh, nice! <laughs> you you just one, want something new he, then? Yeah, well, he always beat his games. I remember one time he's like, "Man, what the f- out of my house, man! I told you to stop all my games." <laughs> so, sorry, man. <laughs> you sucking all these games, yeah, but yeah. but man, uh, yeah. So you know, looking at this from what I used to play with Sonic, and you know, even going back and doing research for these movies, I'm like, man. I think you. I think you kind of hit it as best as you could, uh, except for those things that could have been cut out. Hmm. You know, I, I, I'm gonna pass this on to Martin, but I, I'm gonna tell you, with this, I still think that uh, I still think that Jim Carrey, for anybody who's having to bring their kids in or anybody who's not familiar with Sonic who finds himself caught up in this movie, he, you know, I still think that he makes this more watchable than it would be if he wasn't there. Hmm. You know, he continues to be the coked up guy at the party. He's just doing. <laughs> Just weird stuff with his body. Good. Yeah, yeah, you know, which is what, what you want. which is what was made what made the first movie what it is. That dance scene, I yeah. was like, this this is makes no sense, but I loved it. I loved it too. They made with a T Rex a, 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 a T Rex bit his head off and he's skin. I mean Jim Carrey's skin out of, out of uh, in a simulator. All of a sudden, a dinosaur comes out, bites his head off, and he still skis without a head. It's like it makes no sense, but for Jim Carrey, yeah. I'm like, fine. Makes sense to him. Yeah, I, I love that. <laughs> yeah. uh, and Jim Carrey, he he continues to do all that weird stuff with his body that just makes somebody like me laugh. I don't know how you got back, but you're about to, and so will that idiot sheriff and his wife. And your little dog too. See. <laughs> 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 I, man, I, That's funny. I laugh so hard in the rubber band man. That's what he is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but Knuckles, I keep wanting to call him Knuckles. Knuckles, yeah. But, but Knuckles was waiting on him. They couldn't have set that up better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they planned that shit. <laughs> and that's one of the things that gets me with Sonic in this movie because Sonic keeps trying to talk shit. And Knuckles or Dr. Robotnik, they keep they keep getting one up on them every now and then. Yeah, I'm gonna get your ass. Oh yeah. <laughs> he knocks his ass out too. Uh Jim Carrey is the he's the biggest cartoon in the movie. Shit, he's more animated than any of these CG characters in here. Yeah, it's incredible. He should have played Sonic. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Both characters could have been Robotnik and Sonic. Oh bitch. Yeah. I I wouldn't have had a problem with that. Just paint his ass blue and let him go. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Carrey in this is a literal mustache twirler. Mm. Oh, yeah. he got that big ass mustache, and you know, it's funny because uh, he's got that mustache, but they don't—they never explain the look really, except that he's probably high on shrooms and just shaves his head. He's probably crazy. Yeah, right? he's crazy. He's at, what, at the end of the last movie, they didn't show him with his with his head shaved. Yeah. they show, but they don't—they they never explain why, except that he needs to look like. So we know Dr. Robotnik, but the big villain in the Sonic games is Eggman. So he just needed to shave his head like an egg and have a mustache like that dude and goggles like him. Even though that dude's kind of, he's fat and Jim Carrey's very thin. And also, like I say, he's on a planet full of, of, of hallucinogenic drugs and, you know, with these shrooms. So yeah, he was already insane. He's just he's just getting crazier. These movies go along. That's what yeah. He is. And he's probably just messed up from his, his loss from the last film. He just was by himself and just because at the beginning of the movie, he's talking to a rock. I remember that, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah, man, you know, he's, he's crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, he is driven by the fact that all these people he fought against, they think they beat him. Uh-huh. I mean, they did, mm-hmm. but he's like, I'm coming back, mm-hmm. and when yeah. I win, I'm going to rub it in all of y'all's faces. Okay. That's why I would just, that's why I would love to see a third movie. Jim Carrey is talking about retiring, so I don't know if he'll be back or not, but as crazy as this character keeps getting, 
I'm like, I would love to see a third movie with it. And there is going to be a third movie. I'm telling oh, you that oh, right absolutely. now. They're going to make him fat, though. I mean, that, that has to inevitably be the, his that final would, transformation. I mean, uh, uh, yeah. Unless, you know, his, re- his retirement is serious, they don't have to have him back. No, they don't. No, what I'm saying is, for the fans, yeah. they would love to have a fat egg man. Oh, a fat egg. Yeah, and yeah. a crazier Jim Carrey. Yes, exactly. Yeah, just just more insane than what he was. Because the more insane he gets, the funnier some of this stuff is. Although sometimes, unlike the last movie, you know, so we talked about this. Mm-hmm. Jim Carrey, they kind of let him go. Jim Carrey said, you know, I'm going to let y'all know right now, 90% of that stuff that I had in the script that was sent <laughs> to me, I didn't do. Sure. He just he just he just improvised they a lot of it. They let him yeah, go. Yeah, it was obvious, and and, and his instincts were correct every yep. time. True. So now here, I think they might let him go a little bit too much because, like I said, now he's just doing a bunch of pop culture references, you know. Yeah, and like some that. of these jokes are not that not that funny. Mm-hmm. Now some of them, they let him ad lib and improvise, and some of it is hilarious because mm-hmm. it just it's out of nowhere. Like there's one scene they get a reaction from him, like Knuckles and Sonic starts fighting, and they put the camera on Jim Carrey right here, yeah. and when they put him on, he's like. <laughs> I was like, we'll put it in the scene. It'll work. It'll yeah, work. If, <laughs> and everybody did start laughing. Like, what the? F- is that? But it was funny, right? But then he has other things like some t- jokes that just made me groan. Like, Papa's got a brand new stash, or he's flossing, or something like that. And I was oh, like, okay. yeah, you know. And I was like, because Fortnite's a thing in this world. Okay. So I'm not a, neither a Sonic hater nor a fan. Yeah, mm. and I had only just watched the first movie like maybe three weeks ago, just because wow. I, because okay. I knew this was coming out, and yeah. I was like, so well, you, you didn't you didn't see it before? Mm-mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I always thought like, well, everybody seemed to like it. I'll watch it later, and it just got around to where they were sending us stuff saying like, hey, two is coming out. And I was like, yeah. oh, I got an afternoon. Let me watch this. And me watching that that first Sonic movie, I was like, okay, uh, Sonic and James Mars, and this is kind of typical of these yeah. kind of things. Mm-hmm. And then Jim Carrey came on, and I was like, holy shit. Yep. He is putting everything into this. Mm-hmm. And to yeah. me, <clears throat> Jim Carrey carried that first movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with this one, there's so much more going on where he's not as much of the central figure. He's still there. Mm-hmm. He's he's driving <clears throat> the plot, but you got you got Knuckles, you got, uh, uh, what's his name, Tails? Tails. 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 Uh, you have a driving story and they let the the human people do more. This movie is structured like Sony and DC could take a, a, a notepad to this because this is more structured like a Marvel movie than anything they've ever done. Mm. It's got it's got all those things in it, the way it drives the plot, bringing in extra characters. While I, I can say that watching this, people who are Sonic fans were losing their shit oh, okay. because it gave them everything they wanted. Mm-hmm. Me, who are, I you know never played the games, I don't know the references. I wasn't in on that, but I could just say like as a movie itself, without me knowing anything, I had fun. Oh, okay. It was a fun movie. Nice. It is not flawless, hmm. m- 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 much for the reasons Corey brought up. Jim Carrey is back and making me laugh, but I do think I re- I did enjoy some of the other characters this time around. Maybe because they did have more story to do, you know. And plus, I just think that. Ben Schwartz does a great job. He, he does. does a great job at, at Sonic, man. And I tell you, I always think, going into these movies, I always think, even though I enjoyed the last movie, what, what did we give it? Like a mat- low matinee or something? Yeah, a low matinee or high yeah. rental or something like that. <clears throat> um, I always think Sonic is just going to bug the hell out of me, man. Sure. And he doesn't. Ben, ben Schwartz has a way, as he is on his own, yeah. of being annoying and endearing at the same time. Well, <laughs> the thing with Sonic is that he's a cartoony type teenager. But now, you know, he's got a father figure in his life. And that father figure is Tom, uh, who we know is played by James Marsden. You know, and with, uh, uh, with Tom as the father figure in this film, and there in also his, uh, and there's Tom along with the military and his, and his wife. What's his name? Tika T- Sumpter. T- yeah, Tika Sumpter. Who man. gets beautiful of every movie she does. No, no, that's <laughs> the thing. Watching that in the first movie, I was like, yeah, she's a very attractive woman. This one, I was like, oh no. my God, no, she's she, amazing. She's amazing. She had a baby, and so she's got a little more. Oh, there. is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Are you Look talking about that? No. Oh, social media? No, I just know things. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You just like that thick black ass. I don't know. <laughs> she's a very beautiful woman. <laughs> uh, got a big ass, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, she just had a baby, but. <laughs> <laughs> she had a baby. <laughs> yeah, it's two months old now. I, 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 I sent them a little something, but I haven't got a, a thank you yet. She's got them birthing hips, man. <laughs> That's what it is. Shit, they didn't beat her come out the hospital. <laughs> 
<laughs> she's got that baby fat on her. Mm, I have a ring for her. We'll, we'll love her even more. Yes, yes, yes good. No, but... she's, no, she's great, though, man. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, he's got this family now. He's got her. He's got Tom. Uh, and so with that, you know, he, he he's... He's got somebody to keep him a little grounded, and he does. He try he tries to pull something for a little bit. Like he, you know, he tries to. There's one time he tried to pull that. You know, uh, you 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 ain't my daddy, shit. You know. <laughs> yeah. But you know, he came around before Tom had to tell him he got out my house. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not your real. I'm not your real daddy. You got that right about that. You ain't my real son either. I'll call the government on your little ass. <laughs> Tom, Tom was like, I'm gonna let you have this one. Yeah. But but say this shit again. Yeah. And see what happens. <laughs> say something else. You be in a government lab getting dissected. And I like I like that when when Sonic is when he's fighting, I like that when he's fighting and uh, you know when he's doing his speed thing and you know taking on enemies like Robotnik or Knuckles. I like that he's he's Spider Man at that point. Yep. Mm. He just talks trash the whole time. You know he's just he just he never shuts up. That's how he gets to him. You know Spider Man just keeps capping on these enemies and just <laughs> trash talking and just just and needling just, them. Just seeing the smart ass <laughs> thing. Yeah, uh, Sonic does the same thing. And the whole time I. I when I watched it, I was like, man, it's like watching a Spider-Man fight scene. Ah! I've been training for this my entire life. And I have no training at all. Yet here I am ahead of you. Yeah, got your ass. <laughs> Get that, on, talking all that shit. Yeah, that, that's very much Spider-Man talking a lot of shit and yep. still getting his ass kicked. Mm, yep. Yeah. Yep. People thought that he got the speed right in the movie, the effects with that, because he is very fast, and that's why he'd love Hello Fresh right here. Hello Fresh. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> what a transition! Got whiplash. <laughs> we, got, we got punched by I, knuckles. Hey, gotta, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, like 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 Sonic, you got to be fast, yeah, man. It's true, you know. And the reason why Sonic goes fast, so if he was on Hello Fresh, he could get his meals done. If he was cooking them in 30 minutes or less. He could also get his meals done in 20 minutes or less with quick and fast meals that they serve over there. Hey, you know I got to do these ads, y'all. You know I like messing with people when I do that because I have to do them. Mm-hmm. But thing is, uh, we have used HelloFresh and we're still continuing to use them as we were put onto this through this advertising. And we love it. It's really cool. Uh, the reason why, and just let me do this ad right now. We'll go back to the review in a little bit. But I do endorse this with experience that uh, <laughs> Carlos is. When hello fresh. You know what? You're not coming to my house for dinner now. There you go. He's your Sonic. Yeah, he's he's my knuckles. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you know the thing is, is that Hello Fresh, they have these these ingredients, these fresh ingredients that are sent to your door every week. And as I mentioned, they take about thirty minutes to make. You can have a quick and easy meal made in about twenty minutes. That way you can get to hanging out with your friends or your family and getting to eating that delicious food that you made yourself and as I said with these you know these ingredients are fresh and they have all kind of different meals for all kind of different lifestyles you're vegetarian they got you you love meat they got you with that hey they allow you to go in and kind of mix and match these meals to and customize them to your taste so that maybe hey maybe you want to eat more healthy and you want to lay off the meat a little bit but you still just want a little dab of it in there you can do that with this right here and it's 70 percent cheaper than eating at a restaurant. I don't cook a whole lot. So this allowed me to go in and cook these meals quickly. And I was proud of myself when I was done. I said, you know, if I was a single dude like some of you guys out there, or even if you're a woman trying to, you know, have a date with somebody, and, and, but especially for the guys out there, you know, we still got this stereotype that we don't like to cook, you know, we don't like to make meals. Women like when they see you making these meals, man. And if I was single, I'd be making these meals all the time when I get these dates over and impressing them. Hey, shit, I let them come in and watch me cook. Getting ain't none turn on a woman and looking at you being sexy in the kitchen. But at this moment, I am married. And one of the cool things about this is that my wife and I, we don't usually cook together. But since these uh, come to us with all the ingredients there and the sheets that have the preparation for the ingredients, we like to take time and cook together. And we like to take turns on who's going to chop this up, who's going to prepare this over here. So I described this as a good date night for us both. Mm. And it really has allowed us to do something that we never thought about doing together. She's either cooking for me, I'm cooking for her. Uh, we do this together now. We spend time in the kitchen. And it's just, just like hanging out. I got you right here. Go to HelloFresh.com forward slash double toasted 16 and use the code double toasted 16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts so i want to thank hello fresh for sponsoring this portion of the show and i want to thank all of you out there for your support as always um we were talking about sonic a little while ago and talking about how 
he is a, a cool character here. I thought he would annoy me, but he's just a kid, man. But he's respectful. He's never whiny, never bratty. Talks a lot of shit, <laughs> you yeah. know. But hey, he does that to people that want to kill him. Hmm. And they should be talked to that way. But let's talk about some of the new characters, like Knuckles, that we have here in this movie. Uh, you know, one of the things I like about Knuckles, and Martin already said this, Knuckles is funny, man, because and I told you, because Martin thought I was bothered by Knuckles. I was never bothered by Knuckles. I thought Knuckles was hilarious because I thought he looked stupid. I, I'm just going to be honest <laughs> with you. I just, it just looks weird in real life. But as the character went on, when they started bringing out the humor in Knuckles, voiced by Idris Elba, it was funny because he turned into Drax. From yeah. the galaxy, I can see that. Yeah, because he, he okay. he's so serious, man. Yeah, and he starts to actually, he's so literal with things, man. He's so alien to fun and just, <laughs> just, right. just okay, and yeah. just sitting back and having a good time. And so when he's once he starts to, and once once he starts to uh, be a little bit too serious and the humor starts to play on the irony, that character is hilarious, man. That character is a lot of fun, and. When they get to uh, when they get to the part where he does start loosening up and he doesn't know how to do it, that's the, what is this base of ball? He sounded like you talking yeah. about sports. <laughs> the sports ball. Yeah. <laughs> you and him, Hank, you would get along with him. Yeah, I like him. We both hate Sonic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, except he knows how to go with it and have a good time. Yeah. And you still sit over there being a sour. Yeah, yeah. damn right I would. Yeah. <laughs> if he didn't start getting along with Sonic, you can too, man. Nah, nah, you know. need to stop. He's you, weak. <laughs> <laughs> He's not like me. <laughs> <laughs> My hatred is pure. <laughs> he's gonna uh, he's gonna make the movie for a lot of people out there. Okay. You'll enjoy it. Tails, tails is just tails, man. Tails, tails, tails. tails sucks. <laughs> I ain't gonna say he sucks, but you know, tails is just not interesting. You know, tails is just there to be cute. Honestly, yeah. when tails first comes in to say like, "Hey, Sonic, I'm here to warn you that Knuckles is is coming after your ass." And yeah. Tails could have been like, all right, I warned you. Now I'm going to leave now. <laughs> it would have been fun. No, he's not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's about T- right. Tails is just there because he's in the game. Yeah. And, the, and just there to be cute. And he flies a plane. And it's, yeah, he, he flies a tank, plane. He flies, flies with his tail. Oh. There's two tails. Hey, you know what? Uh, Sonic has to go on a road trip. He needs somebody there with him. He's yeah. Buddy. Yeah, that's it. Okay. But, you know, he's in the game. It's game reckon, you know, it's. It's it's brand recon, rec- recognition, I guess, in a way. Oh, I thought you were gonna say game recognizes game. Re- re- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't tell he got no game shit. <laughs> nah, he's a nerd. Yeah, and it's gonna be funny how many people sit there wondering if this is a dude or a chick. I was wondering that the whole yeah. time. Yeah, it's voiced by a woman. Yeah, yeah, it's voiced but by as, a co- as, as Colleen something. I forgot her name. M- yeah. Most young boys, are, yeah. animated boys are like Bart. So, yeah, Bart Simpson and yeah. somebody. Because their voice never changes. Timmy yeah. Turner and stuff. Yeah. It's just funny yeah. though because <laughs> the, the dude next to me had it all wrong because Tails came on the screen and uh, <laughs> came onto the screen and the little girls like, "Dad, is that a girl or a boy?" And Dad is like, almost like they like, what are you <laughs> stupid?" <laughs> It's obviously a girl. He's not a, he's not a man, like a girl. <laughs> like, I don't want to say nothing. I'm like, you, you got it wrong, man. I mean, he's got a split tail, which yeah. is a slur for females. Oh, 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 yeah. He's got some eyelashes, got some pretty eyelashes. Just noticing yeah. that. Yeah. No, he's, yeah. He's pretty. Well, he can be anything you want him to be. True. That's yeah. true. Hey, why does gender matter? Exactly. Yeah. It doesn't even come up, it's not yes. even an issue. Mm-hmm. Yes, he's a they. Yeah, <laughs> I honestly didn't know until it was some point in the movie somebody referred to him as a he. I was like, yeah. oh, it is a boy. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's a Bart Simpson. There you go. <laughs> the wedding scene in this film, that's the most far-fetched thing in the movie, man. <laughs> the big twist that they did with this scene, I ain't going to tell you where it is, but they did a big twist with this wedding scene. I'm just like, come on, man. I was fine with the wedding, but you're right about the twist. Because with, with the with the first movie with the sister in law character, I was like, wow, I cannot stand this character. Here, I liked her a lot better. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, that that twist, I was like, um, okay. Yeah, I, with that twist, I'm just kind of like, interesting. Y'all didn't y'all didn't think this through. Y'all just needed this scene to get you to the next scene and mm-hmm. set up circumstances. Uh, hmm. This is the what I'm talking about with this because the wedding, because that wedding scene that's in the movie here, man. It's, I'm like I'm like you, Martin. It's not the wedding that bothered me. In fact, the uh, uh, the wedding scene that is in the movie has some of the funniest gags in the mm-hmm, film, mm-hmm. which is the funny thing about this. It has some very funny stuff in there. Uh, this tension that's built between James Marsden and uh, uh, Natasha Rothwell, who is the the sister-in-law getting married here, 
it made for some for some, for some nervous but funny buildup, man, because she's still mad about getting tied up in that last movie <laughs> and getting left behind. <laughs> well, she wouldn't shut the fuck up. That's yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, no, she would. No, she would not. She had it coming. She had it coming. I, I, ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna lie. I know that sounds like a Will Smith defense, but, <laughs> but something needed to be. Done. I ain't saying I get up and slap her. I'm just saying shit. Somebody get your ass to shut up. You would. You would. You wouldn't be in that chair if you just knew it to be quiet. I know that sounds bad, but. You know, uh, with all that nervous tension that's set up, her telling him, hey, don't you come in here and mess up my wedding, that makes it even funnier because you know something's going to go absolutely wrong. Listen, I don't know if you're aware. Rachel does not care for you at all. Oh, I'm aware. Oh. And if you screw up my wedding, I will end you. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Choking his ass right now. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> Baby, Bobby, help me. I think the funniest thing about this scene is this brother right here? It looks like that goatee's painted on. Oh, I think I kept thinking yeah. that too. Did you? It like they got a paintbrush and just said. And yeah. he looks like, and plus he Shit. looks like a, a black Josh Brolin right there. Oh, he kind of does. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that's Shamar Moore. My, Shamar Moore. My yeah. wife is in love with this dude. He, and, yeah. And I was like to tell her like, yeah, I think he's, I think he's got gray. And he's painting it. <laughs> Man, that because mm. you can see the fuzz, uh -huh. but you can also see like it's the, too black. Yeah. You can also see the paint underneath the the, the, uh, the, the, the stubble. You know, it's like, it's yeah. like look at it. it's like, don't just... let him get wet because <laughs> he'll run all over that black <laughs> that white shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the reason why I know that shit is painted is because it's like, man, look, you got a little part right here that ain't gonna be right, right, yeah, yeah. It, all here that shit right here, and here's just straight down. Like somebody took a paintbrush and went, <laughs> yeah. It looked like somebody took a look. What I do? It looked like you have a little stubble. And I need that stuff. You take a sharpie marker. You just rub that shit in. <laughs> Don't nobody had that, that shit is too clean. It's painted. Yeah. It is painted around there. Look at that. Heavily dyed. Heavily dyed. It's like every time he kisses his wife, she got that beard too. <laughs> just goatee. That goatee. Yeah, you come back. Everybody got that goatee. He's like, no. And don't get me wrong. Amazing looking guy. Yeah, Even the movie, son of a bitch. I know. Even the movie James <laughs> Marsden had to, because Sonic was like, is he as good looking in the pictures as I think he is? And ah. James Marsden like, no, nah, that motherfucker looks better, man. <laughs> a, a, amazing looking guy. So yeah. that's why I got to talk shit exactly. to make myself feel better. Exactly. <laughs> I'm, being, I'm, being, I'm being a little petty bitch right now. <laughs> he's too perfect. Yeah, so when I see something wrong, I, just, I gotta go in. He's an older dude with abs and everything. Like, man, well, fuck him. Fuck this dude. And you got the nerve to paint a goddamn goatee. You don't <laughs> even need. You don't even need that. You don't even need that. I know. Just cut it off. He looked prettier of salt and pepper. Oh, honestly, Mark, what you cut? Don't, don't you mean rub it off? No, <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> Just take some spit through the soap and water. <laughs> yeah, 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 come here. Shit, if you get if you get into a fight with that dude, just pull out a, a, a wet rag. Come here. No, no. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Funny thing is, is that some of the stuff I'm saying could be cut. I had laughs in that. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a dance scene that goes on in Sab. Siberia, okay, so don't ask. But there's a dancing that goes on in Siberia that wasn't really necessary, except that, you know, they forced it in because kids love dancing. You know, they were able to play some 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 good pop songs for that. But I did get a laugh because they in the movie they they just Sonic and Tails they just dance one dude to death. <laughs> Hey, hey man, he funny. got served. He got served. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. should, he should That's be. different. I mean, they, it's like they, they served him death. Died that exhaustion. dude was dead. He... <laughs> and I kind of laughed. Okay. Man. Right. You know, yeah. Yeah, that, that whole sequence, that whole set piece is one of those where you're like, this doesn't really advance the plot. No. But they invested so much. They did so much with it. That is such a fun scene. And right. like, I'll allow it. This, it works. This, this was this was good. That's cool. <laughs> I mean, he went down trying. Yeah, he was trying. Yeah, yeah he was trying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, <laughs> all right, that's I'm fine. Like, oh, man, I kind of kind of admire that man. He's a villain, but I admire him because he went down, man. He's he, he went down he, trying. He accepted his fate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Move it. Because <laughs> he's tearing it up before. He, he was. <laughs> so you tearing it up. He was. Him, him and his crew, I was like, oh, Sonic Tails, y'all are finished. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, and they, man, that, that scene is so well choreographed, too. It's like it's not necessary. I would say cut it out if you had to, but, and they probably should, but it's, it was funny. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was a, <laughs> yeah, it gives it, it gives it a little something aside from just going from point A to point B to point C. Yeah, mm. I can't. 
I can't criticize it too much if I got a laugh out of it. The only thing I can say is it probably didn't need to go on as long as it did, too. They could have cut that shorter if they didn't want to get rid of it. But, you know, man, uh, I, the, the big thing with this is that in the end, and this is what I really admired it for, because a lot of these movies, they just go in to, to just, you know, get a joke. Uh, get, you know, get a rise out of these kids who want to see their favorite characters come to life. Uh, but I was surprised at how much heart this had at the end. Mm. Tom, James Marsden, and, and, and Sonic realizing, like, wow, you, I didn't think of this before, you are my dad. Mm-hmm. You know, you know yeah. I'm, I'm your son, and we're our family. You know, uh, it's sweet. That, it's sweet, man. It's a yeah. very, it's a, it's, it's a very s- sweet way to, to, like, end this film, man. And, uh, you know, it wraps with these characters caring for each other. Okay. Uh, I felt watching this that this is what sequels are supposed to be where you've taken the things that worked in um, uh, the first movie, especially an, an unlikely successfully first movie, mm. and rather than making it a remake of that, you're adding on to it. You're bringing in new characters. You're expanding the story. Two, over two hours for something like this seems like a lot, although with the Marvel movies, they do it all the time. Uh, and this follows, this follows Marvel movies, uh, MCU movies, almost to a T. But it's... It's nice to see somebody do it and go like, oh, they actually do understand what makes these work. Mm. Uh, it is too much. You could do an edit right. that takes out the things that are unnecessary, that yeah. makes it shorter, and makes it more impactful. But at the same time, I've, I feel like, okay, for me watching this is like somebody else watching a Marvel movie who doesn't like read comic books. It's, mm. it's like, okay, yeah, mm. you can have stuff that me as a fan love, but what about this person who knows nothing about it? I, you know, it wasn't always working, but for the most part, I was laughing or having a good time in it. Uh, and f- now, for somebody who is a Sonic fan, as I was surrounded by them, <laughs> and they were guys nearly 40 years old, they were losing their shit. Wow. And I was happy for them. Yeah, of course. They, they weren't being obnoxious about it. They sure. were just watching it like, Ooh, dee! And, and when the movie was done, they couldn't stop talking about it. And which was like, this is exciting. I, you know, it's fun to watch somebody having a good time. Sure. Uh, <laughs> so for them, it's probably a, a high full price or even a better than sex. I pro- I probably go with better than sex. And you know, like, and then the obvious joke is because they haven't had. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I I don't agree with that, but I'm just saying it to get it out of the way. <laughs> but for me, it was a high matinee because I huh. I had a r- a really good time watching this. This was obvious uh, that Sony was making, you know. A movie that was pretty much uh, uh, brand recognition, you know, because uh, uh, the story is not all that great, and like I said, it's too long, and there's some things that need to be cut. You know, m- there might be some limits on the story that they can do, but I can tell you that, like, like I just showed you with the game and the and the uh, uh, and the cartoon, they're really doing a lot to stay loyal to those fans that really love this, and those fans appreciate that. And I always criticize these video game movies for not doing that. They don't, they, and this one just pretty much said, you know what, uh, if you haven't seen Sonic, uh, <laughs> doesn't, you know, we're here to give the, the people who want to see these games and the cartoons come to life, we're here to give them what they want. Martin liked this. Martin yeah. ain't a fan of the games, no. but if you just kind of make what the people are going to enjoy, and go along with it, then it, it might be infectious enough to suck everybody into it as long as you also are putting in some other things, just small things to just not totally forget that regular audience. Mm-hmm. I didn't like it as much as you did. This is more like a low matinee to me, but I still enjoyed it. I still had fun. It still, it might be just a tad better than uh, the, the first movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah, just, just a little bit. You know, uh, it's, definitely, it's definitely bigger and there's more going on. But yeah, yeah. Uh, as you were saying, hey, you know, me as a casual and you who doesn't know anything about it, uh, if you go in and watch this and you are a fan of this, then I see no reason why you wouldn't enjoy it. If you like that first one that much, this one definitely puts in more that you're going to enjoy. Now, we'll see. We'll it's see good how, here. Yeah, we'll see how this, how, and this is going to be a hit. It's going to be fine. We'll get a third one. Definitely going to get a third one. Uh, they set it up, I imagine. Right? Yeah, yeah, they did. So, you know, hopefully they'll uh, get better. And if they don't have Jim Carrey in the third one, that's going to be the interesting thing Fuck right em. there. Yeah. <laughs> it's over at that point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what you say, movie's done. He yeah. said, F- yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sonic might be in trouble. You know, <laughs> pay the man. Yeah, Shit, give him it. some paint. I don't know I what he's doing. You get, know, get, just, get, pay him get, off somehow. Get a, get a homeless man and give him crank a meth or a coke or something. You know, do something. That's Jim Carrey equivalent. Yeah, sure, exactly. Just get get a homeless person and get them high. Let them go. <laughs> do something because because Jim Carrey is a big part of this, man. Oh yeah, they probably gonna pay him a ton of money to get him back in here. 
He's rich. He's, he's a, he could take it over. He says bit. he wants to retire. Yeah, yeah, he wants to retire. He's he's, he's mostly focused on his art. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So for mm-hmm. him, it's like, eh. Hey, everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content, such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. 